On this channel, we talk about independent spirituality and folk magic for free spirits. My name is Esther, and in today's video, I am here at the table because I am going to teach you a little something. This is a classic spell jar aimed at prosperity. This little beauty is not only going to be a very nice piece of decoration for your kitchen, but it's also going to make sure that your house stays prosperous throughout the entire year to come. This is a spell meant to be done in December and look at that. This is December. So I am here with my jar from last year. I'm going to undo it and make a new one step by step showing you how it's supposed to be. This is a classic simpatia or spell as we call it in Brazil. And if you go to any grandma's house, you are going to see this in the kitchen, okay? Let's get to it. This is going to be a very quick video. First thing you need to do is to get yourself a jar, a glass jar container, okay? It can be something that you saved from a product from the supermarket. It can be a new jar, it's up to you. But either way, you will need to cleanse it if it's new. You can smoke cleanse it just to get the energies out of it, the energies from other people that could be and definitely are clinging to the jar that you got. When the jar is nice and cleansed, you can start placing the ingredients inside. We have five layers of grains in here and also some stuff at the top. I have one cinnamon stick, one star anise, one star anise, four bay leaves, and four golden coins. Preferably with the same denomination, like my coins are 20 cents. Not sure if you will be able to see it, but all of them are 20 cents. There's no problem if in your country you don't have golden coins, you can use the coins that are available to you. This is just like a little bit of sympathetic magic. That's why like simpatia, you know, that's where the name comes from. This is just a symbol, a representation. So anything that represents money to you, you're going to grab four of it. After one year, you will notice that the coins get a little bit sticky. And what you're gonna do with them, you have two options. You can either spend these coins and replace them for new ones, for the new jar for the next year, or you can keep them and use them again. And that's what I'm gonna do. As for the rest of the things in the jar, we have here, now I'm not gonna tell you yet what we have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep a mystery here. But everything else that we have inside of the jar, they are natural ingredients and you are supposed to discard them in nature. You don't need to worry, everything here is edible, so it's not going to be a problem for nature. You are going to look for a tree, okay? A very nice big tree. You are going to pour down everything that is in the jar at the roots of the tree. Okay, now that our jar is empty, we are going to start filling it up again. For that part, you are going to need beans of any color. I am going to use white, but you can use whatever beans you have. Raw, okay? Raw beans, not cooked. You will also need lentils, sweet corn or popcorn, sunflower seeds, and rice. Then you are going to simply add one layer after the other, visualizing the prosperity you want your house to have during the next year. It is actually very simple. To finish it off, we are going to arrange the last elements at the top of all the layers of grains. So you will start by the coins, you arrange them like I am doing in the video. Next, you are going to add the bay leaves right next to each of the coins. Yeah. 
you will place one cinnamon stick right in the middle of the coins, like so. And last but not least, you are going to add one star anise. Anise. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but you are going to add it in the middle of the top elements of the jar. Something that I forgot to mention is that this jar should have a lid and now we are going to close it off and place it somewhere in the kitchen. This jar is going to sit there throughout the entire year and you are going to remake it the same way as I've shown here, December next year. I think this is the first time I share like a spell tutorial on the channel. Let me know what you think of it because I could definitely bring more spells here. By the way, I do have some spells tutorial on my Patreon page. So if you like what I do over here, make sure to take a look at my Patreon page because over there you have access to exclusive bonus content for only one cup of coffee per month. If you would like to see more spell tutorials, let me know in the comments below. I am thinking about making a series out of it. I don't know, tell me what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and remember, practice makes perfect. So let's go in. Bye bye and a happy prosperous new year.